So today um, I'm going to be swatching and playing around with these um, Eco Line mixing colors. Um, I'm a little late to the party, but I tend to do that a lot anyway, so no big deal. Um, but these will be my first time using these, so I'm pretty excited. Um, the only other time I really used um, liquid watercolors was by, it was a handmade scent by, um, the B Watercolor Lab. I don't know why that took me so long to remember what it was. Um, and they had six colors, um, which in a previous video, in a previous video, I painted my Edra sketchbook with. So today, um, I'm going to be swatching out these 10 colors and uh, playing around with them. So here we go. Hey everybody, voiceover Barry here. Uh, I will be talking to you for the most part for the rest of the video. Um, so here are the first sets of the Eagle Line watercolors. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out where the colors were, uh, but this is the lemon yellow. Light orange. Vermilion, Magenta, and the last one of this set is the Ultramarine Violet. And in the next set we have Black, Gray, Sepia, green, and sky blue cyan. Uh, I really like the cases they came in and I will probably keep them that way because um, it, it's just a nice, convenient, easy way to store them. Um, they can easily stack, I can put them in a cabinet and that's fine. Um, so now I'm going to drop out all of my colors so I can have them to swatch them and test them. Um, you'll notice that I stuck a piece of paper uh, under the, uh, sh the page of my sketchbook that I'm swatching on. Um, this is the Etcher sketchbook in cold press. I've noticed a couple of times though when I'm painting that uh, if I paint on both sides I don't have too many issues but if I have thicker layers of paint or like some opaque paints um, on the back side of a page that I'm using and I use a lot of water I soften up the pigment just enough where sometimes um, a few pieces will come on and you'll it'll stick to the other side I noticed that mainly with my white knights because I got um, some of their pastel colors and they're a little bit more opaque um, so these are all my swatches. Uh, they came out very nice and vibrant. They seemed really easy to work with. And then I tried out a few color mixes. Um, and then at the bottom, I tried to make a little rainbow gradient. Uh, you'll see that some of the pigments uh, move and disperse very easily. The other issue with using a sketchbook is um, the pages, are, like they're flat but they're not that that page is always gonna kind of lift up a little bit so if you look down on my rainbow gradient you'll see the, the yellow and the green mixing quite a bit um, so I finished up the swatch page on a separate day and then I because I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of my uh, videos in one shot um, I went to bed and it was kind of a perfect test for me to see um, how easily it is to reconstitute the Eco Line liquid watercolors, because um, they are more watercolory than they are like they're not inks. Um, so you can, if you leave it in your palette, you can just drop some water in there, like I did, and then you can use it again. 
um, and I had I had no issues with them reconstituting. Um, the one different thing they did notice with the black though is like it kind of when it dried out it separated a little bit so I guess whatever pigments they used to make that um, which are not listed on the inks Sorry, I went to actually go get them so I could have it in hand while I talk about it. So on the side of the ink, it gives me the color in different languages. Um, it tells me that it's made by Royal Talons, that they have liquid watercolor available in 60 colors. And that's it. Um, there are no pigment or dye information that I can tell, and there are no light fastness or anything else. Um, from what I understand though, these are not very light fast, they will fade, um, and so when I use these, uh, they will be in a sketchbook or something that I'm going to put in a drawer. Um, and really the most light it should see is when I scan them. Um, so that's it for that. Um, yeah. So for the sketch I chose to do, um, let me just close that. Um, the sketch I chose to do, I don't know... If I've mentioned it many times, um, but I play World of Warcraft, and if you play, then you would also know that uh, the new expansion Shadowlands just dropped recently, and um, I, when at the time I was filming this, I was finishing up the story and choosing my covenant, and I chose Ardenweald, and uh, when I was looking at the inks, trying to figure out what I wanted to paint. Um, it made me think of the little fey dragons um, that you the place I'm used to seeing them the most is up on Mount Hajal um, but I figured that would be perfect for the bright colors that these inks offer or sorry not inks water or liquid watercolors that the little Fey Dragon would be the best thing for me to do, and I was really kind of wanting to do it anyway because I was questing around Ardenwield because that's what I chose for my covenant. Um, so I am already talking way past the point because I apparently found more to talk about than you know the speed of the video is going. Um, but you'll see that I had my my reference I just I went online and I searched for a reference photo and I found it and that's what I was using to base my drawing off of and I essentially based the colors off um, the same thing or tried my best to do that um, so yeah I the sketch I didn't have too many issues with with the exception of the feet the hands I thought came out pretty good um, the feet I kind of struggled with, but I don't draw creatures that often. It's something I want to get a little bit better at. Um, as far as the test piece goes, this is fine, but if this was uh, something I wanted to be a little bit more serious about, I guess, I don't know if that's really the right way to say that, I would have planned it out a little bit more because I realized while I was doing this, like closer to the end, um, when I start drawing the scales in, I realized that I should have faded and blended out the tail instead of having harsh sections of color the way that the reference showed because like right now you'll see how I'm trying to blend out and, um, the green and the yellow to the blue and I really wish I had done that with the tail I think it would look better and so when I done the scales it would have looked more cohesive
So at this point, I was trying to start doing the line art. I originally wanted to do it in um, colored pencil, add some texture and shading and whatnot. Um, and you'll see later that I, I get quite far with it. I finish the leg, I start another leg, and I do the tail. Um, but man, I just really hated it. I, I don't know what it was, I just I didn't like it. And so I picked up my fine liners and I started doing it that way. But then I at first I was like, okay, well, you know, this will be how I can see how they, the watercolors um, interact with the pencil and how that looks on top of it. Um, but then when I started in with my fine liner, I really was liking the results I was getting. And then I started hating the fact that I had the colored pencil there. Um, so I actually was able to erase it. I was pretty surprised, like it didn't mess with the, um, the paint at all and it didn't like smudge or I don't think I was pressing hard enough for it to leave any shadows or anything. So I went back and I just erased it all and went over it with the fine liner. So I did this over um, on a weekend. I think it was a Saturday, Sunday. I don't remember. I'd actually have to check the, the timestamp. Um, I've kind of been procrastinating on this for quite a while to edit this. Um, but I did a good portion of this in steps. Um, it was just taking a long time, so I just kind of skipped it and I wanted to make a shorter video. Um, so. Here I am just finishing in the scales. Uh, you'll see that I, like I said, I erased some of the color pencil and editing this now, looking at it, you can see on the back leg up front um, that there are some of the shadows from the scales and that's just because I didn't like the shapes I had. Uh, one of the other issues I had was um, I wanted to make that back wing look farther away so I took some of the gray um, and put it on top and you'll notice that it kind of looks dingy and grungy um, and that's just because these are watercolors and they just when I did that it reactivated um, and then I have my my patchy background because I didn't really paint it fast enough and I had to keep refilling my ink to catch up um, but you know this is this was a test piece this was my first time using these um, I, it was a good experience. I'm going to keep using them in the future. Um, and yeah, I had a good time. I like the way this came out. It was a good test piece. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you like this piece. And if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Or like and a thumbs up are the same thing. But please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content by me. If you don't already follow me and you'd like to see more of my art, you can always follow me on Instagram at berrystuff_arts. Um, 
And that's it. Thank you for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.